I'm going to report now on the first day of CBA 8 in Nepal. It went very well. It was a long day. We started with the inaugural session, which was graced by the chief guest, the Prime Minister of Nepal, uh, Honorable Koirala. He was chaired by the Secretary of the Ministry of uh, Technology and uh, Environment, uh, and uh, also the Joint Secretary of the Ministry, Prakash Matema, who is also the chair of the least developed countries group in the UNFCC. Uh, we had speeches from Atik Rahman on behalf of BCAS, one of the co-organizers, myself on behalf of IID, Sam Bikastek on behalf of uh, CDKN, and Balaram uh, on behalf of Liberd, who are our local host organizations. And it went very well. The Prime Minister was very inspiring. We all uh, were very inspired by Nepal's efforts at uh, allocating 80% of their global funds for adaptation to the local level and also the very innovative LAPAs that they have produced, the local adaptation plans of action. So those got a good uh, round of applause and support. We then had uh, plenary sessions on mainstreaming, breakout sessions on various different topics. Uh, we have records of all of these on our website, so please go ahead and look at uh, www.cba8.org. Uh, if you want to see them, we will also have uh, recordings of the major speeches that were made in the inaugural. And uh, we ended yesterday's sessions uh, with a plenary with well over 300 people all playing a game, which was both great fun, but also a learning exercise on how communities can adapt or manage to deal with disasters. It was designed and run by Pablo Suarez from the Climate Center of the Red Cross and everybody had great fun. Uh, there are videos and photographs on the website and a lot of tweeting going on about it. And then in the evening, we had a reception hosted by the government of Nepal where they very kindly provided us with very nice Nepalese food and some cultural um, programs, dances, Nepalese traditional dances. So everybody had a very relaxed evening and enjoyed themselves. And a uh, lot of getting to know each other, networking, and late at night, we had a small group meet to talk about the upcoming Kathmandu Declaration, which we want to produce on the last day. Um, we started a little drafting group. Uh, we have a little early uh, structure for it. We're going to seek inputs from our participants over the next two days. And on the night of the 29th, which is uh, tomorrow night, we will finalize it. And on the morning of the 30th at the closing session, I will uh, announce it uh, publicly to the, the world and we hope that everybody will then pay attention. We will be live streaming the opening at 11 a.m. Kathmandu time uh, and we hope that many people will uh, watch us at that time and many people will be aware of the Kathmandu Declaration which will be the main outcome of the conference. And I'll be reporting back again on, on the second day's events uh, later on.